Another thing that's new that requires AI is transcribing captions. This is Jan Liang Chabod. She works with Shure and the Entertainment Division. And I interviewed her at the 2025 NAB show last April. But it would be nice if I could see captions of what she's talking about. To make that happen, let me go up to the edit window and go down to captions and say transcribe to caption. And after just a few seconds, the captions are there. And not only that, but the captions are editable. If I double click a caption, I can see, for instance, highlight a word and change a spelling or correct a word if the caption wasn't translated. The calculations are done locally on your computer, which makes them very fast, which uh, is a big benefit. You don't have to upload stuff to the cloud as well as worrying about privacy. But there's more we can do. If I open up the index, notice that these English language captions are in the ITT format. ITT is not bad. It's, it's a in, uh, format invented by Apple, but it's not the most popular. SRT are much more popular captions. So I want to convert this. So I'm going to select a caption, and a cool way to select all your captions, to click on one, type Command A. Command A then selects not all the clips in the timeline, just all the captions, if you have a caption selected first. Then go up to the Edit menu, go down to Captions, way down here, and this time we're going to duplicate our captions to a new format and create an SRT format caption. Now, the content of the captions is identical, but the way the captions are formatted is not. YouTube, for instance, prefers SRT, as do most broadcast outlets, so you want to make sure to deliver the caption format that your distribution partner wants. Notice now I have an SRT caption, and I can enable that, or an ITT caption, and as you can see, the content is the same, but behind the scenes, under the hood, the... Um, the formatting of that is not. I'm going to highlight this caption. Notice it's up here. Command A to select them. Hit the delete key and notice I've deleted all the ITT captions. If I select a caption, Command A, go back to the caption, go down here and say captions. I can also duplicate captions to a new language and I'll pick French and we'll use Canada. That quickly, it now has an English language caption and a French language caption flag. Now, there's a big difference here. In order for any uh, software that reads captions to read a caption, it needs to know what language it is, which means that the header of the caption needs to indicate if it's German or French or Japanese or English. This creates a caption with the correct language header, but it does not translate the caption. It only sets the header. If I wanted to translate, I would. this is uh, the French that I'm looking at here. So notice it says that it's format SRT in French, although the language is still English. I would have to copy the caption out, translate it, and paste the translation in. My hope is, in a future version of Final Cut, the translation will also be done using AI. But for right now, we can create captions, we can set the language flag, but we can't yet translate them. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on AI-powered tools inside Final Cut Pro. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 380. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of topics. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers a variety of software, and we update it multiple times each month. For more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks 